Okay, now we're ready to do our perimeter riveting. All the holes have been laid out, so it's just really the boring task of lining up each rivet with the hole and then making sure that everything still fits, right? We punched all these holes to the right size, but you still have to paint everything and the paint clogs the holes, and so occasionally you gotta come back with the hole punch and refit everything. But what I like to do is snap everything together and take a look at the assembly and say, is that the aesthetic I was intending? Or do I want more rivets? Or do I want less rivets? Or do I want these rivets to be a different color? And really consider all of those final choices um, because it's not easy to undo a rivet, but it's not impossible. And so to redo your straps, maybe 15 minutes of headache. But to redo all these simple rivets, they're gonna suck down really tight be super hard to remove. So it's always good to just take the time and ask yourself, is this the look that I want? Is this doing what I expected? Is there something I would rather do? And really play around with the idea. The nice part about these rivets is you can snap everything together, get a look, and then just start riveting if you're like, yeah, that was what I was thinking. I like this red red, uh, silver, black look. <laughs> there we go. Got a couple more. So we've got everything fitted. I like the way that looks. It's got good balance. I kind of want another rivet here. I think it would just look right. Um, here we have the doublet from where the strap is. I'm fine because those rivets have functional purpose, but it really does you know, make me wonder, would I put another rivet here and would I put a doublet here? So I'm thinking this location is primo real estate for another rivet, and this might be a little too crowded. So what I'm gonna do, just take my hole punch, Take my hole punch. We're gonna switch it to the small size and then just add that last aesthetic rivet that I want. Right there. Get one more out of the bin. And now I think I'm satisfied. We've got something with a little more balance. This one is functional rivet for strapping. There's no getting around that. This I think would be too crowded to add another. This is nice spacing. I think it's very elegant. So now the riveting part. What you'll realize is the riveting is the fastest part and what takes the most time is just setting everything up so you can do your riveting operation. Come here you. Always escaping. One thing to mention with my hand position is that I'm pushing down very firmly and my pinky and my ring finger are supporting both the leather and the punch, right? So my ring finger is in this position supporting the punch and my pinky is making sure that the leather itself 
isn't moving, and I'm using the entire knuckle to lock that in place. And that's what allows you to keep everything steady so that when you do your riveting operation, your rivets suck down nice and tight. They don't bend over, don't get all mushy. No one wants a mushy rivet. So then you want to go around and make sure nothing feels too wiggly. Um, I think these rivets right here, one, two, three, four, could use a little more setting. They're a bit tall, a bit proud. So just come back to your anvil and make sure they're well supported. Um, if they don't suck down completely, in fact, before I do this, you can see the distinction between a rivet that is fully tightened and then this rivet here, which is a little loose. You can see there's a gap at the edge. So tight, loose, loose, loose. And so I would give those more hammering to make sure that everything fits the way we want. So back to the anvil for a couple more blows with the hammer. And then this one here with the strap could use another blow. So let's see if we can get that close up. So right here, this one doesn't quite seat the way you'd want. You can see there's gap. I can fit my nail under there. And that needs to be retightened. So since this is the last of the riveting operations, it's always good to go and check and make sure everything is as tight as you had hoped. Good. I'll do this one one more time. So there you go. The whole assembly and the buckles all riveted together.